diseases of crucifers so now we will see the list of important diseases in crucifers my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, uh, crucifers the first one is club root which is caused by plasmodia pura brassicae second one is downy mildew which is caused by pernospora parasitica the next one is leaf spot which is caused by alternaria brassicae then head rot which is caused by sclerotinia sclerotiorum and white rust which is caused by albugo candida and then black lead caused by pomalingam and the last one is bacterial disease that is black rot which is caused by xanthomonas campestris path over campestris so now we will see in detail about one by one so the first one is club root or club uh, sometimes they can also called as club rot okay so club root which is caused by plasmodio poro brassicae so the name itself indicates a rotting of uh, a root region i mean uh, uh, sorry uh, the roots are uh, produces a club like uh, symptoms what can we call as a bulged symptoms so this is mainly due to hypertrophy and hyperplasia symptoms so here uh, uh, in in club root the uh, disease is mainly divided into two i mean uh, two types of symptoms that you can observe so as well as above ground parts and as well as lower ground parts which means in the uh, below soil or uh, especially in the root region so now we will see one by one so if you see the above ground parts we can see here this is above ground part symptoms if you see here the 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 size of the flower the size of the flower can be completely reduced in later stages what will happen if you see the lower leaves if you see the lower leaves yellowing can be clearly observed here you can see here yellowing can be clearly observed so yellowing and pale green color discoloration of the plants so sometimes what will happen so wilting also can be observed but mostly we can see yellowing and pale discoloration of the plants especially in the lower leaves if you see lower leaves if you observed on the upper leaf or if you observed on the pod i mean uh, uh, the flower so size of the flower also can be reduced what will happen here uh so at night time it may be recurs uh, that won't be a big issue what we are concerning here some mainly symptoms so on upper symptom as uh, upper ground symptoms is so above the ground part symptoms is so yellowing of leaves and the size of the pod also can be reduced and sometimes it can also look like a sickly appearance so if we see the below ground parts or lower uh, uh, parts uh, as i told you that club root so what will happen the root region uh, the bulged symptoms or club like symptoms can be uh, seen here we can clearly observe like uh, bulging this is mainly due to hypertrophy and hyperplasia due to the production of uh, uh, due to the high amount of, i mean due to the production of huge amount of zebralins and as well as growth promoting substances this will happen so the hypertrophy and hyperplasia the root region or the region which is below the ground level that can produce a club like symptoms so above ground parts yellowing of leaves and the size of the pod can be reduced and no pale green discoloration also can be observed this is caused by plasmodium porobrasca very 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 important uh, uh, disease in uh, crucifers so this disease was first discovered by voronin which is a russian scientist in 1876 so coming to this pathogen which was uh, uh, this pathogen primarily produces juice spores which is of anteriorly uh, by i mean uh, flagellate which is of whiplash type secondary juice spores are of uh, which is which are, are smaller than the of, uh, than that of primary juice spores so here the pathogen is mainly produce juice spores juice spores are asexual spores we know very well that it also produce plasmodia if you see a plasmodia it is a multinucleate mass of protoplasm so if you see the life cycle of this club root of cabbage it produce a plasmodia at one stage so this plasmodia which means is a multinucleate mass of protoplasm what will happen this plasmodia in later stages slowly uh, divides or uh, uh, compartmentalization will happen so that this uh, plasmodia can be divided into small small units so each and every unit can develop into a juice spores they will ask in exams like this so in which life cycle the plasmodia the production of plasmodia can be observed that is a club root of cabbage which is caused by plasmodia poro brassicae so we are planning to do uh, uh, mycology so if you enter into mycology i will uh, definitely explain in detail about each and every single aspect so that uh, that will be helpful for uh, someone who want to obtain more and more knowledge about the particular aspects so coming to the management aspects uh, crop rotation and improving the drainage facilities will be uh, uh, one of the management practice and uh, correction of uh, soil by adding lime here it is a very 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 important one in exams also we can see this uh, adding of lime how much amount of lime that we can add so if you ask me that uh, 
டூ சாரி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் கிலோகிராம்ஸ் ஆஃப் லைம் கேன் பி ஆடட் பர் ஹெக்டேர் ஸோ டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் கிலோகிராம்ஸ் ஆஃப் லைம் பர் ஹெக்டேர் கேன் பி ரெக்கமெண்டட் டு கண்ட்ரோல் திஸ் டிசீஸ் ஸோ வி நோ வெர் வெல் தேட் இட் வில் பி மோர் சிவியர் இன் எசிடிக் சாயில் தட் இஸ் அட் அட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் பிஹெச் இன் பிட்வீன் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் டூ டு ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் இஃப் யூ ரைஸ் த சாயில் பிஹெச் பை ஆடிங் அ லைம் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் இஃப் யூ ரைஸ் த சாயில் பிஹெச் அட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் செவன் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் ஆர் அட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் அபோ செவன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஆர் அட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் செவன் பாயிண்ட் எயிட் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் த டிசீஸ் கேன் பி கம்ப்ளீட்லி கண்ட்ரோல் பிகாஸ் த சிவியர் இட் இஸ் சிவியர் இன் எசிடிக் சாயில் இஃப் யூ அப்ளை லைம் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் வி கேன் ரைஸ் த சாயில் பிஹெச் ஸோ மேக் ஷோர் தட் ஹவு மச் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் லைம் பி ஆர் ஆடிங் ஹியர் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் கிலோகிராம்ஸ் பர் ஹெக்டேர் ஸோ இந்த கிராப் சானிடேஷன் அண்ட் சீட் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் வித் கார்பன் டிசிம் அட் த ரேட் டூ கிராம் பர் கிலோகிராம் ஆஃப் கேன் சீட் கேன் பி ரெக்கமெண்ட் அண்ட் நர்சரி ட்ரென்ச்சிங் வித் கார்பன் டிசிம் ஆர் குளோரோ தலோனில் அட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் பர்சன்ட் அண்ட் டிப்பிங் த சீட்லிங்ஸ் இன் ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் எயிட் பர்சன்ட் கார்பன் டிசிம் ஃபார் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபார் டுவெண்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ சாயில் ட்ரென்ச்சிங் வித் கார்பன் டிசிம் ஆர் குளோரோ தலோ அட் த ரேட் ஆஃப் ஒன் கேன் மேனேஜ் த டிசீஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆஸ்க் வித் மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் Uh, uh, natural uh, uh, management practices application of lime at the rate of 2500 kg per hectare can be recommended so coming to the next one uh, downy mildew which is caused by peronospora and one more thing i would like to uh, add here is so if you see here the club root pathogen is uh, a, a, it is not a, a completely a fungi so which actually comes under uh, uh, sorry which actually comes under protozoa group so so coming to the next one downy mildew so which is a, which is caused by peronospora uh, parasitica uh, coming to the symptoms we can clearly see here the infected plant showing you know uh, we can see here the infected plant shows uh, uh, some spots like appearance and as well as white color downy growth also can be observed on the upper surface of the leaves so the main symptoms we you know very well that downy mildew had seen so many downy mildews in earlier so the main symptom is Uh, appearance of a downy growth on the uh, surface of leaves sometimes it may be seen on lower surface or sometimes it may be seen on upper surface but mostly downy growth can be seen along with yellowish uh, discoloration of leaves in the later stages also can be observed if you see the head so black color uh, 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 what can it say like powdery mass also can be covered and along with the black color discoloration with small uh, pin pointed heads uh, uh, like simply like you know uh, 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 simply like a uh, pointing with a uh, pin something like a uh, black color discoloration also can be seen on flower so coming to the management aspects uh, seed treatment with metaloxyl at the rate of 6 g per kg and along with spraying uh, uh, metaloxyl plus mancozib combination 4 g per liter can be recommended and also can be recommended i mean also we can also go with uh, mancozib at the rate of 2.5% uh, can effectively control this downy mildew diseases so if you ask me Uh, rather than going with the mancozib or uh, uh, mancozib you better to go with metaloxyl because the mancozib is a chitin uh, destroying fungus so if you see this uh, uh, downy mildew fungus all the umycota uh, cell wall is made up of uh, cellulose right few of the fungi like uh, uh, acaila aphidogaila saprolignia and leptomitis whose cell wall is there made up of chitin but if you come here mostly downy mildew fungi cell wall is made up of cellulose so here the mancozib the mode of action of mancozib is a chitin destroying fungus so if you see here the cell wall is made up of cellulose we have where we are applying a chitin destroying uh, fungicide that will be uh, no use so better to go with the metaloxyl which is which can destroy cellulose so in combination of metaloxyl and mancozib also hard that uh, i mean we heard that uh, a combination of metaloxyl and mancozib combination also give that uh, very good result so better to go with the metaloxyl and, uh, and mancozib combination so coming to the leaf spots which is caused by alternaria brassicae so the name itself indicates spots on leaves the main constant uh, sorry the main uh, important feature of the alternaria is so concentric rings it is a very clear we can see here concentric rings can be seen on leaves so coming to the symptoms so the concentric rings are dark brown color are initially so whatever the symptom you can take initially it starts with a small hole uh, sorry a uh, small spots and later what will happen the small spots coalesces and look like a very big circular spots so uh, if you see the diameter it goes to up to 1 cm sometimes 2 3 cm also so mostly concentric rings is the uh, you know most diagnostic characteristic symptoms of any alternaria disease so the coming to the management aspects you can go with uh, hot water treatment at the rate of 50 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes and along with the uh, uh, seed treatment with the theram or captan at the rate of 4 g per kg of seeds also can be recommended and the final one is the spraying of copper oxychloride 
at the rate of 2.025% or mangozib at the rate of 0.25% or we can also go with chlorothalonil 0.1%. So what I suggest you is, uh, so let us consider if you are applying a copper oxychloride for first time, second time I suggest you to go with the mangozib and next time you suggest, I suggest you to go with chlorothalonil that also avoid the creation of a fungicide resistance. So if you are applying the same type of fungicides each and every time what will happen the fungi not only fungi. Uh, but also insects I mean if you are applying insecticide so that you can develop a resistance resistance means hope you guys what you know what you what it mean by so if you are completely completely applying the same type of fungicide there will be a chance of developing a resistance so that I suggest you to go with the alternate use of fungicides that can uh, uh, that can give definitely good results so the next one is head rot which is caused by sclerotinia sclerotia the name itself indicate head rots or rottening of head so see you don't worry about the symptoms what were then on the left side you don't need to uh, study or uh, uh, you know uh, 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 like you know uh, uh, like a spoon feeding you know you don't need to remember and go through like all the symptoms what i had given on the left side for your uh, understanding i'm 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 trying to uh, simplifying as uh, much as i can do so you don't need to study all those things just uh, try to listen what i'm trying to tell and if you if you if you take an exam so writing this uh, small i mean uh, the most diagnostic symptoms uh, writing an exam is also more than enough you don't need to write all the symptoms like collapsing a plan blah 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 something like that you better to go with the most important symptoms so if you see here uh, as i told you that head rots rotting of heads the head is a rotten and completely converted into black color powdery mass. It looks like a black color powdery mass, not powdery mass. A black color cap or black color thin cover, polythene cover like a substance which is covered on the surface of the, I mean, of the flower. So it seems like, you know, the size of the flower also can be reduced and it seems to be, you know, if you isolate this, we can clearly uh, see, or if you see in uh, a sclerotia, if you go with the microscopic observation. So later stages, what will happen due to this uh, pro uh, uh, sclerotia softening in later stages, in a Cortical tissues and uh, you know uh, the production of uh, cottony mycelium can also be seen here you can see here cottony mycelium and rottening of uh, 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 entire flower and later stages what will happen so this completely rots and water like substances can be uh, might be exudated from the infected plants it is completely unfit for the consumption so coming to the management aspects, uh, removal of infected plants and uh, crop rotation can be followed and spraying of copper oxychloride at the rate of 2.5% and carbonism at the rate of 0.1% can control uh, this disease. So coming to the next one, white rust which is caused by albugo candida. The name itself indicates white color rust substance can be seen on the uh, on the flower. We can it, it look like uh, you know some uh, some uh, you know uh, uh, like 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 any serious uh, disease or disorder. Uh, so the infected uh, uh, the uh, the flower which is infected with the white rust which is completely unfit for consumption which is caused by albugo candida. If you see here, white color creamy substances can be seen and also like you know. Uh, it's like a, a, a some you know uh, uh, due to this uh, uh, a huge amount of I mean uh, the uh, uh, if the mycelium is covered completely with that uh, flower what will happen it will it slowly it look like it is slowly digging like a hole right so if you see the inflorescence what will happen uh, white color uh, substance can be covered along with the swellings also can be seen distort uh, distortions also can be seen so here hypertrophy and hyperplasia symptoms also can be seen but I don't think that uh, where we can see the hypertrophy and hyperplasia symptoms but you can remember this white color mycelial growth can be seen on the inflorescence and uh, young stem and like you know uh, deformed uh, deform I mean uh, deformations and as well as like swellings and can be seen if you see this uh, lower uh, uh, lower one and we can completely uh, it look like uh, I don't know what uh, I can pronounce it this it look like you know uh, completely like a burning or uh, burning like symptoms can be seen it's a, which is completely unfit for consumption so what will happen in uh, later stages what will happen in some stages what will happen the sterility of uh, uh, entire ovary will uh, uh, sometimes also will happen due to that what will happen is a completely uh, lost ability to produce a flower so uh, uh, this type of symptoms can be seen so coming to the management aspects uh, removal of the infected plant debris and destroying of uh, uh, the woo spore and uh, surface of i mean uh, surface seed treat with, uh, treatment with uh, 52 percent uh, i mean 52 degrees centigrade hot water for 20 minutes and cruciferous weeds have been controlled if there is any cruciferous weeds uh, there nearby so better to destroy that and uh, spraying of bodomichir at the rate of 0.8 percent so for bodomichir you can go with one percent so fungicides and all those things we can uh, recommend 0.1 percent to 0.2 percent for bodomichir you can go to up to one percent so for antiviral principle you can go to up to ten percent so this is a common recommendation so next one is a black leg which is caused by poma lingam the name itself indicates a black leg where the stem portion is considered as a legs for plants 
so black color discoloration or black color appearance can be seen on the leg region what is the leg region for plant that is a stem right so black color discolor mostly if you see the symptoms mostly can be there and most of the symptoms can be lies below i mean uh, on the name itself so the what we have to do we have to remember the causal organism that is uh, you know what the causal organisms may be differs uh, so you have to uh, uh, you have to practice if you are if you are if you are a, a new one for plant pathology i suggest you to practice so that it will be very easy in uh, later stages so uh, the black leg which is caused by formalingam uh, and the symptoms if you see the symptoms the fungus carries uh, by means of seed which is the best example of uh, seed transmission which is the best example of uh, seed transmission and uh, you know uh, and if you see this is told you that uh, st stem portion mainly uh, if you see the black color discolorations and uh, uh, mainly can seen in the and this uh, same black color symptoms also can be appeared on uh, leaves also sometimes so uh, if you see in later stages uh, not later stages uh, in upper part i mean upper parts like legs i mean that the stems we can see the black color discoloration if you see the old root symptoms decays and uh, frequently affected plants are fall over so in the frequently if you are affecting the frequently it can fall over so the coming to the management aspects of seed infection that can uh, uh, prevented by the spraying of seed uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, you know application of copper oxychloride the organic mercurial compound can be recommended along with seed treatment of captain under the remedy 4 gram per kilogram of seed followed by seed treatment of trichodermoid which is a biocontrol agent at the rate of 4 gram per kilogram can be recommended pusa drumhead a cabbage cultivar which is also reported that is tolerant to the field condition so you better to go with this so the last disease is black rot which is caused by xanthomonas campestris path over campestris is the best example that the disease can enter into the plant cells through hydrosode it is a very 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 important question if you see in any type of exam so this is the best example that the disease can enter into the plant cells through hydrosodes the most important and diagnostic symptom of this disease is v shaped chlorotic spots or v shaped uh, uh, symptoms can be seen we can see here in the midrib region v shaped chlorotic spots that can be clearly observed right so and uh, yellowing also can be observed that won't be uh, uh, much considerable but the uh, but the most important symptom is v-shaped chlorotic spots can be seen on the midrib region so it is the very very important in exams also they can ask like that v-shaped chlorotic spots can be observed in the where v-shaped chlorotic spots is the diagnostic symptom of which bacterial disease that is black rot of cabbage which is caused by xanthomonas campestris path over campestris if you see the vascular disc if you see this uh, uh, f uh, flowers uh, you know, uh, size of the flowers can be reduced and yellowing also can be observed, right? So here the vascular bundles uh, are discolored in later stages and what will happen softening and uh, symptoms, I mean softening symptoms also can be observed. But the most important symptom is V-shaped chlorotic spots in the midrib region. So coming to the management, so use diseased free seeds and uh, seed bed rotation uh, should be followed and along with hot water treatment, the best control is hot water treatment at the rate of 50 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes and also uh, spraying of uh, in combination of, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, mixing of copper oxychloride at the rate of 2.5 percent along with uh, anti, uh, uh, sorry, anti, I mean, uh, antibiotics like agri agrimycin at uh, uh, the rate of 100 ppm and 200 ppm can effectively control disease, diseases. So coming to the questions ARS and NETS, it's very very important. The first one is the club root of cabbage. They, they may ask uh, who discovered the life cycle of club root of cabbage. The answer is uh, Varun MS Varun is a student of Anton D. Berry. And what are all the, uh, I mean, what are all the asexual spores produced by the club root of cabbage? Uh, you know, we know very well that juice spores. Uh, the plasmodia uh, life cycle, I mean, uh, appearance of plasmodia can be observed in which life cycle? That is a club, a club root of cabbage, uh, uh, plasmodia porobrasica. Uh, uh, then uh, next one is the black rot of cabbage that is uh, we are seen lastly uh, which is caused by xanthomonas campestris path over campestris they will ask questions like this so uh, black rot of cabbage pathogen when enters into the plant cells through hydrothodes we know anatomy of plant that uh, the plant have hydrothodes lenticels and other structural uh, apparatus and, and leaf so through hydrothodes the i mean the black rot of cabbage pathogen can enter into the plant cell which is caused by xanthomonas campestris path over campus very very important one so coming to the next one a uh, black leg of potato can be uh, transmitted by it's a seed transmitted disease right so it is also one of the important ones sometimes they may also uh, uh, they may also ask uh, causal organisms like uh, uh, formalingam what is the causal organism of black leg of potato formalingam so we are planning to do a separate videos for ARS and NET so that will be very easy uh, to uh, to deliver more and more information so if it comes to here we can't able to tell you in detail and more and more details about each and every disease right so we are planning to do separate videos on ARS and NET and all those things so that will be very easy for uh, someone who want to prepare so this is all about crucifers